from the ashes. On the face-off dot, Tyler Dunn for Hopkins. Going to face off against James Riley. Riley has taken over 1,200 draws in his career, and he still has another year left to play for Georgetown. Hoyas beginning their season. Hopkins already 1-0, having defeated Jacksonville last weekend. Riley wins the draw, first ball to Georgetown. On the carpet that time, could be handled by Wally Halpern. It's a turnover. and Dordovic is in the house. It's 96th career goal in just 48 games. Transfer to Georgetown, getting his MBA in the McDonough Business School. Puts Georgetown up early. It is a couple of years there. Happy to be back closer to home in the starting lineup for the Blue Jays. Face off initially won by Hopkins, but then won back by Halper. Those are killers. Fill it up from the lefty wing. So that those four pieces plus the goaltender Danny Hanks. Man, Kevin Warren's got to be feeling fortunate to have strong graduate programs in the nation's capital. No question. That's why Will Bowen came over from North Carolina after just two years with the Heels. Because they had a great graduate program that he was looking for at Georgetown. Didn't offer it in Chapel Hill. Battle on the faceoff. It's been done pretty much the entire time for Hopkins. He and Callahan shared time last week, but guns the man early today, and it's won by Halpert. Will he take a shot? No, Pat passes it off and we get a whistle. Time opted to back off. And it was like Dordovic read that that was going to happen before it even happened and it gave him just that little sliver of room. Connor, that equates to what, like a mid-range jump? As a ninth and 10th grader, he was actually a verbal to go to Delaware, but he ends up going to Syracuse because of a recommendation from Ryan Powell. And the rest is history. Here he is now as a lawyer. For, for Hopkins and head coach Peter Millman. After the first quarter, Q, all the momentum now with the home team. And Tyler Dunn, number 30 here at the faceoff, got a big reason for it. Wins another one. And he'll look to shoot. Stays with Hopkins. Dunn got hit on that. after yeah. the shot. I don't see any flags down. He's shaking up. Hopkins going today without Matt Naruski, senior Fogo. Dunn was 50% against Jacksonville. I thought he played really well against Denver's uh, Alex Stathakis. Blue Jays feeling it. Riley's going to corral it. Now he's in trouble. Good job getting it over to Hess. Nice hand. But he's got a ferocious work ethic. Bodies on the ground in front of the net. Another possession for Georgetown. Feet set shooting from the midfield. Back and forth we go, Q. Now Georgetown back on top. This has been a big battle here today at the faceoff dot. Riley wins it. Back over to Hess. James McDordovic has that, that little extra step. Riley 
Kellyan Callahan now. We saw Dunn banged up a little bit just a few minutes ago, Q. So now Hopkins going with number five, who had an outstanding game in week one against Jacksonville. Had possession initially, got it taken away, and now we get a flag. This is going to go against Georgetown. That's going to go against Hess. Near side, so simple goal, but some strong fundamentals. A couple of goals on the day for Degnan, who had 40 last year. Running out of the box. Combined for, for basically all of the Georgetown goals on my scoring sheet. We'll see about Minicus. We'll see about Jacob Kelly, Declan McDermott here in the second half as we are underway. And TJ Haley, who was the one attackman who was back for Georgetown, preseason all Big East. Had 30 assists last year. We probably even mentioned his name, but maybe we will here in the second half. Georgetown does get possession, and we'll see them offensively, maybe quickly. to see Dunn back at the face-off dot for Hopkins who's banged up a little Ooh. in the first half. I look really battled. Wow. It looked like they need to stop play here and take a look at Hess. Now they're going to let this play on. I thought Dunn got away with the hold. That was a vicious collision on that. 36 for Colgate. Riley wins the draw. Now Bundy. Four and a half points last year. Advantage back to two for the Hoyas. This battle at the faceoff circle continues. Possession to Georgetown. leverage and, and when is the right time to shoot around that defender three in a row now by Georgetown Chris there's a really interesting podcast with Tucker as a guest that I listened to this week Bruce percent back to me that's a big boy ground ball by Hess, Hess. shoves the guy to the <laughs> Shoves this guy to the side and, and runs that ball down. It was a 50-50 ball for any player in the country, but you look at the, the athletic ability that 40 and, and, and Blue has. You have to start giving them time because they're playing so well and earning it and practicing so hard. Paying off for Carroll. Gives Georgetown that three-goal advantage once again. How does Hopkins respond? Off, Clark. We're going to show you great stories like that in men's and women's lacrosse all year long and what's good. So looking forward to many more of those stories coming our way. That's really cool. Transformational stories in the world of lacrosse work. How many times do we hear coaches talk about a player's demeanor being calm and then they always, almost always follow it up with sometimes too calm. Sometimes I got a lot of fire under him a little bit there. He carries a shot. We've got North America covered. Possession gained by Hopkins. Back to even 11 11 midway through this fourth quarter. The battle's within the battle. This one of the face off bets is huge. And a great job by Tun checking back on it. but Dunn didn't give up on the play. Jay's out of timeouts now with 7.15 to go, but they've used two timeouts to save two possessions, so you can't argue with that. We've seen an energy level. and Goal run of the game for Hopkins, and it gives them the lead with 6.15 left to play. Huge faceoff. comes out of there with it. Tendencies. That's an example of sliding to a, an attackman's eyes that comes back to haunt you. Angel with four assists on the game. 
The last couple of goals by Hopkins assisted by Angeles. And now the lead is two as we go under five to play in possession again to the Blue Jays. Battle all afternoon long. It's been roughly even. And clean, too. Riley's going to win it. 